Hello everybody, my name is Georgi and today we're going to see episode number 2 of my Blade UI Kit mini course. Let's get started. The first component we'll be looking at today is the countdown component. The countdown component provides you with an easy way to display the countdown timer on your website. You can provide any date time interface object to start the countdown. The most basic usage will be to just pass a datetime interface instance through its expires attribute. Let's see how to do this. Countdown and let's copy the component. Let's paste it. Now uh, let's add the date variable in, into our web routes and pass it to our view. Web routes, let's call it date and let's do carbon, carbon, now, and let's add one week to the future, save, let's pass it to the view, date, date, and let's refresh. As you can see, now we have a nice little working countdown timer. Next, let's see how we can customize this component. We can define how the component is rendered by using its slot. Let's change it. Let's add, let's close the tags x countdown and let's add, for example, we want to show the, how many days are left. Let's wrap it in a span and say x text equals timer dot days, close the span and let's say days. And inside the, the slot we need to add the component days close it save and refresh now we see just the days let's add the rest we can say span x text timer hours close it and add the component hours and say hours Let's finish it, let's copy this and change to minutes and minutes and let's add the seconds as well. Let's refresh. And as you can see, we have this customized countdown timer. Let's make it a little bit more beautiful. Let's get rid of the words. And now let's tell the whole thing using Tywind. Class, margin, left 20 and margin top 20. We'll add the flex and we will do space X3. And now on every component, let's add some styles. We'll do class, background, gradient, to bottom, from gray 100 to gray 300. We'll add a text gray 900. We should add some padding and let's add a border with the border gray 400 and maybe let's round it up a little bit around that medium let's let's copy all the classes let's copy all the classes to all of the other what component and refresh and we have this a little bit better looking countdown timer the next component we're going to take a look today is the map box component with map box you can easily render a map box map into your application let's continue in order to display a map box component, we first need to add the map box token into our configuration under the service PHP file. Let's copy this configuration and let's add it. Config service PHP. 
let's paste it. I have already added the mapbox token into my EMV file, so we don't need to do this now. Let's try the most basic usage of the mapbox component. Let's copy and let's paste it. Let's add class with full and hate screen. This should display a full screen map in our browser. Beautiful. Next thing we can do with the map boxes, we can control the zoom level and place some markers. Let's see how to do this. We can make use of the option attribute and say a default zoom level to our map. Let's see, put it to zoom level 2. Now let's go back and take some markers. You can use the attribute markers to add the coordinates of your markers. In this case, we put the marker somewhere in Germany. So now refreshing the map should be zoomed out and should have the marker in Germany. That's how easy it is to add markers and control the zoom level and display any map you want in your application using the map box component. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified when I post the next episode of my mini Blade UI course. See you next time.